So we did the five most popular for now. I'm gonna go back and do a couple more uh, viewer levels just so everybody gets, uh, not everybody, but so some people get a chance. Mario's new car. I wanna tell you what the biggest jape of all time is. There's been a lot of japes. And the world can be a tough place because people jape so much. But the biggest jape is that they sell new car smell air freshener, like, like the trees. It doesn't smell exactly like a new car. That's japes. New car smell is nearly impossible to get back. They can uh, get the approximation of it to some extent, but... But yeah, the, uh, the tree fresheners are not... You get cherry, it just smells like chemicals. Sweet chemicals. Anyway, I wonder if this car smells alright. Where are we going, Treebeard? <laughs> oh, to a dark, scary place, I see. I like that Mario crouches down. It was jail for his crimes? Oh yeah, it was. He just ran over so many fucking people. But how much coins do I really need? Let's see. 100. But... No. Not yet. This is like... So there's just different points. Okay, alright, I see. So you, you have to go underwater then. Yeah, decent air freshener for your car is... It's tough. Trying to find something that doesn't smell too overpowering and, and generally, like, just chemicals. Black ice? I think I tried that one. And it's like... It smells like a club in Manhattan at 3 a.m. with people that wear way too much cologne. I wasn't gonna say the word Guido, Whittler, but I'm glad you did. It, it smells like Cousin's Club. Vin, you gotta come to my Cousin's Club. It's called Black Ice. I don't know, I've, I've never had a Black Ice air freshener that smelled good. It was just too much. Maybe there is a good one, I don't know. I will take good <laughs> car air freshener recommendations if anyone has one, but please no Black Ice. 100. Hundo. Just open your windows. You, you know where I live, right? Like, I live in Staten Island, which, in and of itself, is not the best smelling. Okay, that's not true, it's fine. I live- I live close enough to Newark, New Jersey. Vinny, have you ever been to Bayonne? Yeah, I remember going to Bayonne... ...more when I was a kid. I don't remember why. Like, why would I ever need to go to Bayonne? But, um... I was there. My grandfather took me there. I don't- I just don't remember why. George R. R. Martin, writer of Game of Thrones, lived in Bayonne, grew up in Bayonne. And from Bayonne, there's a bridge to Staten Island, and you can see Staten Island, and he said... I've said this before on stream, but when he was younger, he would look over at Staten Island and the ships in the harbor, and he would think- he would, like, wonder what was over here. He thought it was like a fantasy place. Like some mystical place. Which, um, in some ways inspired Lord of the Rings. Which he didn't write. <laughs> no, he said it inspired his books, Game of Thrones, a little bit, because in his mind he would, like, make up these fantasies, like it was... some kind of, like, land of gnomes and dwarves and stuff. He had an active imagination as a youngin. So it, it- it kind of set his imagination off. And then he said later on in life, when he finally got to Staten Island, it was thoroughly disappointing. So that's our claim to fame. We have lots of claims to fame, but that one in particular is one of my favorites. I don't know if the person... well, let's see. All I got from this was a description about infiltrating Waluigi's tower. Alright. Why is it so icy? Well, why is Waluigi's tower made of ice? Also, I didn't realize you could place those P-switches upside down like that. I just want to know what the fuck Waluigi's doing living here. Why did he give up his apartment? Vinny, I just f finished watching the interview. Thank you for that. You liked it? Mr. Woods! 
the dry bone sh uh, shell is is like an underused mechanic where you can actually turn into like a crusty dry bone. Ah, oh, shit. Boy, that helmet was useful for this part. Dude, come on. Throw me a bone. Alright, I'll throw you a like for that, but I, I can't be doing that again. I'll do one more level. Try to find something slightly shorter. Oh, Jesus Christ. What am I doing with my life? Alright, fine, we'll do this one. Let's fucking level! Alright, let's see what it is. It's the last level of the night, so hopefully it's a good one. That's- is that Beetlejuice? It, are those his balls? I think those are his balls. Are those claws supposed to be his hands, like, honking? I just don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what this level is. Nice fucking level! Honk honk. This is the only level that I'm actually going to do this, but I'm going to play again. Just for a second. Oh, I see. That's supposed to be, like, his hair. Like, he's just all filthy and... and gross. Wait, I want to honk his cock. Let me... let me honk his diseased scrotum. Rotten, filthy, ghost cock. And with that, I end the stream.